What's up guys, Sam Man back with another review. It's a moment we've been waiting for, the one figure I am really have been like anticipating ever since they announced it, and it is the It Ultimate, the movie, based off of the 1990 movie miniseries that aired on TV, the Tim Curry version of Pennywise. So this is something I am so excited to have in hand. I literally just got this from the mail. I ordered it from Amazon's NECA store and this came within two days. So really happy to have this in hand. I should be getting the GameStop exclusive IT 2017 one either tomorrow or, or uh, Saturday. So I'll do a video on that, but just make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Let's go ahead and get started because I'm anxious to get this out of the box. So the packaging on this is pretty much like the movie packaging, the DVD packaging or poster packaging. You have it, the movie right there, and then you have Pennywise, you know, kind of like ripping through the poster. Uh, you come to the side, it's pretty much the same image there. On the back, you know, there's a little bit of a read up right here. So if you guys want to pause, you can read that right there. And then there is an image of the different ways that you can display Pennywise. I mean, this is an ultimate version. So we're going to get a lot of accessories on here. So you open this flap up. You have a really cool image of Pennywise the Clown, and then right here, you have the open window. So you, the cool thing about this, we get a lot of balloons in the background, something I think the 2017 version should have came with. This guy looks like he comes with better accessories than the new movie version. So we got three head sculpts, we got the balloons in the background, different hands, and I think he has a noisemaker as well. So that's the packaging on this guy. Let's go ahead and open this up and take a close look at Pennywise. Let's get into the accessories. So first off, the insert right here, you have the Barons right here. So that's pretty cool. I'm trying to think if I have this upside down or not. So that's cool that we get this image right here. So if you want to put Pennywise in the front and you can take pictures. So this is a nice little insert that we get. You know, one thing I didn't know that came in this uh, set is we actually get Georgie's boat. I didn't know that this came in the set or maybe I just forgot about it, but it's actually just a paper boat. So there's no detailing really on it. It's like a few little designs, I guess, but it's literally just a paper boat. So that's a nice little touch that they added this. You also get the, uh, just dropped it, you get the noise maker right here. Really funny that they included this. Um, I, you can actually, it does turn, but I think it's funny that they actually included the noise maker. I mean, we don't really need it, but it's still a nice touch to add. We get the hands, the, I guess you can say his monster hands, not really the spider hands, maybe it is the spider hands, but we get the uh, kind of like the monster hands right here, which is pretty nice. The detailing on this looks great. Look at the fingertips. Very cool that we get those. Now the balloons is what kind of threw me off. I thought they were gonna be all attached together. All the balloons are different, so they're not attached together, so you're gonna have to put them all in Pennywise in his, uh, in his hands. So you get a total of one, two, three, four, five, you get seven balloons. The cool thing about this, if you really wanted to, you can give them to the 2017 version of Pennywise, the NECA version as well, if you really wanted to. Um, it's the same exact style. If you have the 2017 version of Pennywise, the same exact style balloon. You got the, you got the bendy wire right over here, and then the only thing that's different is just the color of the balloon. So those are all the different balloons that we get with this Pennywise. So we'll go over all the hand accessories that he does come with other than the monster hands. He's got two open hands right here that are gloved. So you can see these here, he has these ones there. He also has two different hands right and left. So it's your choice if what, what hand you want him to hold the balloons on. So uh, actually this one's gonna be the one that's gonna hold on to balloons because this one, I don't know, this one seems like it doesn't have an opening where the uh, the fingers are, this one does. I don't know, I'd have to test them out. So you got these here, and then you have a pointing finger. So those are all the gloved hands that you get. All right, so let's go ahead and go over the head sculpt. So we get a total of four of them. So we have this version right here, and if you guys did watch the mini series, this version right here is when Eddie uh, sprays his, uh, his asthma medicine and Pennywise's face, and he says it's battery acid, you slime, and then his face kind of starts to melt. Look at the detailing on this. They did a great job in sculpting this. This is fantastic. The hair, look at the hair. Really good paint job, really clean. Again, the sculpting on this is so, so nice. Probably, this is probably my favorite head sculpt right here. So we have this one here. 
We also have this one. Now this version right here, I believe this head sculpt is when Richie is in the library when he's older and uh, Pennywise actually uses the noisemaker that we that came in the set and he's sitting on top of the stairway, you know, messing around. But this is kind of a freaky, cool head sculpt as well. I mean, again, look at the detailing on here. The teeth look great. You can see his tongue, you can see inside the mouth. I love the makeup, how they how they painted it, because it does it obviously does look like it's makeup on there. So really, really cool, kind of like pasty looking. I love how this looks. So we get this one right here, and then we also get this head sculpt right here. And this is like the head sculpt he used the most when he was like scaring the kids. Uh, don't know exactly when he used this. I wanna say, it's, I don't think it's when he scared Eddie in the, in the shower room, in the locker room. I don't think that's it, but if it is, you guys can let me know in the comments below. But another great head sculpt. Look at the eyes. They did a great job in making this look like Tim Curry. So there's that head sculpt right there. So those are all the accessories you get. Let's bring out Pennywise. And here he is, guys. Look at this one. Look at this head sculpt they gave him. He's got more of like an angry look on this one. Or sad if you really wanted to. But he's got an angry look. This is the least favorite head sculpt, I think. But still looks awesome. The outfit looks great. He looks a little more on the heavier side but I think I think that's kind of how he looks in the uh, in the in the show because or in the mini series because the clothes was a little baggy the list part right here is all a soft rubber material all this right here so soft rubber material the uh, arms this is all sculpted on this part right here is soft rubber material as well so that's pretty cool you have the little fuzz balls right here you got three of them oh man this looks great you have his little jacket right there you can see the little designs on there same thing with the sleeves the sleeves look great uh, the sculpting on this looks great i love the paint applications on here you come down his pants pretty much just yellow all the way through and then you have the lower part of the pants right here and then you have his black shoes and you can kind of see they do have laces on them so that's pretty cool and does have peg holes at the bottom and this is nice man he's got a pancake butt too this is a really really great looking figure uh very very like i said very hefty he's a very very like kind of like wide figure now let's go over his articulation really quick before we start interchanging the head sculpts so the head can rotate you can see that right there it also goes uh up and down slightly the arms do go in and out forward and back he's got a bend that's kind of a weird bend the elbow bends right here and then he's got like mid arm rotation it looks like he has a bend there oh you know what he's got two it's almost like he's got double jointed he's got a bend right here and he has a bend there and then the hand can rotate, also has a hinge. He's got upper torso rotation. Slight ab crunch, not too great. The legs do go in and out very far, forward and back. He's got a bend at the bend at the knee there. Upper leg can kind of rotate, the lower leg does rotate. Foot goes up and down slightly, and you can rotate, it doesn't tilt or anything. The good thing about this being soft rubber is that it doesn't hinder the articulation, so that's it's really nice. Let's go ahead and change the head sculpts. Oh wow, look at Pennywise with this one. This looks great. This is definitely a Pennywise. You're gonna wanna pick up a couple of them so you can display the uh, the different head sculpts on him. But this is a great look right here. Let's go ahead and put the other head sculpt on. All right, so there's the laughing head sculpt. This one looks really cool as well. If he had like a, uh, kind of like a pointing finger, which I don't, I don't remember if he did or not, you can kind of like point out and uh, kind of like the scene where he's, when they're older and Beverly goes and vi visits the Marsh house and he's laughing out there at the door, at the front door. That's a scene you can kind of actually recreate. So this actually looks really cool as well. And here's the final head sculpt with the interchangeable like monster hands. This looks awesome. Again, this is another great look right here. The good thing about the, the head sculpts, unlike the 2017 version, the head sculpts you can pop in and out easily. With my Pennywise from the 2017, I had trouble uh, switching out the heads. All right, so next part of the video, let's go ahead and do a comparison. All right, guys, so I'm going to give you my comparison, my thoughts on both of them if you only want to pick one and which one is my favorite. So first off, they both have issue standing. That's the problem I have with this one and the problem I have with this one. The problem with the 2017, the leg was wonky, so I need the display base to stand him, otherwise he'll do the splits. The balloon was not really a great, uh, the way they did it, because it kind of falls forward as you can see eventually. This Pennywise though, other than the feet issue, look, see, this guy just falls down. Other than the feet issue than the Curry version, there's nothing wrong with it. I honestly prefer the Tim Curry version a lot more. You can see, the, I mean, you can see the differences in designs. Both are great movies. I love the 2017 movie, but as far as figures, which one is better? 
got to give it to the 1990. The accessories are better. The look is better. And it's it, overall, it's just a great figure. The only thing is mine has issues standing. So there's my comparison. So I'm trying to get him to hold on to the balloons. They all fit in the hand fine, but they kind of, they're eventually going to have the same problem that the other Pennywise did, and they're going to just eventually go their separate ways. Um, I'm pretty sure some of you guys will probably do a better job than I do, but you can see how they all kind of fall forward. So, I mean, if I mess with this a little bit more, I'm pretty sure I can get all the balloons to hold on to the hand the way I would, I would like it to. And there you have it guys, there's my review. Today we're taking a look at the brand new NECA Ultimate It the Movie based off of the 1990 miniseries Pennywise the Clown. This is the Tim Curry version. I like this figure a lot. I, if, I, again, if you had to pick between this one or the 2017, if you were debating, I would go with the 1990 version. The only issue I have, there's two of them. One of them is he doesn't stand well on his own. And I had trouble with the 2017 as well. And the balloon, the balloon is a big issue with me. If you guys have any recommendations on how to get the figure to hold on to all the balloons without them kind of going from side to side, let me know in the comments below. But you guys, down below, is this a pickup or a pass? I really want to know your guys' thoughts. See you guys soon for some more reviews. Hopefully I covered everything you guys wanted to know about the figure. I'm just really excited to have this and I can't wait to get you know pictures and, and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, subscribe guys, hit the like button. We'll see you soon. Oh, come back anytime. Bring your friends.